Hello everybody, I'm Doo Doo, the host with the most. The guy coast to coast always loves to drink the green tea and some coffee with some delicious milk and cream. I am the doer of sports, the entertainment man of the, well, I'm the entertainment man. Anyways, anyways, it's the 28th season of The Simpsons. And I'm always wondering, how would you end The Simpsons? How would you end it? How would you finish off the longest running animated primetime show? That is a very good question. There could be some things where Homer screws up and he kills everybody in Springfield. Or there was a time loop and the time loop was just going on and going on and going on in the show. And that's why nobody got older, nobody got younger. I mean, nobody got older in the, the series. But I kind of find that boring. Not really boring, it'd be a great way. Or, you know, it's like, every, or they could do a cool way where everything is not like draw, then all the, the, the backgrounds are not all drawn out in there. And the Simpsons are saying, Okay, so um, why is this all black and white still? This is, this is interesting. This, the, and they go in the real world and they meet Matt Groening and all the create the guys that created the Simpsons from the history of all the creators like Conan and Blind, uh, some of the great people that worked on the Simpsons, and the Matt Groening, when they finally talked to him. And figure out why he is not drawing. He says, well, you know, I don't know where to go with you guys anymore. So, this is pretty much the end. And the senses are like, wait a minute, this is our lives. We, we live in this town, Springfield. You gotta draw us. And they said, hmm, you're right. And puts white. Puts that, just throws it away. Or just puts all like white ink to just blot out Springfield for good. And I know that sounds kind of like a complex story of how The Simpsons should end. But it would be interesting. I think it would be very interesting. Or you could have The Simpsons and Family Guy fight it out. And then here comes that the chicken and him and... Homer or and Peter are going, huh, mm, uh, mm, 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 mm. and you're saying, "Whoa, this is like an epic fight!" Like the epic fight that um, Peter Griffin and the Chicken had, and then they destroy Springfield. They they just totally demolish. It, it's Stewie and, and Bart. It's Meg and Lisa. It's Marge and Lois. It's the dog and the cat against Brian Griffin. And some of the other Family Guy characters uh, could be fighting with some of the Springfield like uh, Quagmire. He could fight with Barney Gumble, Or maybe Quagmire could fight with um, Mo Sis Sizzlack. Like an epic fight. And then the Simpsons lose and they lose everything and Springfield is totaled and then all you see is Peter and Family Guy characters and they're standing there and they say well I guess we destroyed everything no more Simpsons then you see Homer Simpson don't 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 and then that's the end of the Simpsons it's kind of gruesome but don't you think the Simpsons deserve an epic way of going out? Or they could go back like the time thing I was on where they're in a time loop where they don't age and all of a sudden the time loop stops and they start aging like rapidly. Like what age it would be in the year 2017. That, I think there's so many interesting things you could do with the Simpsons, and that's what's great about it. Because I was watching a video 
on, um, I can't think of the guy's name, but he was, he did this thing when the Simpsons died. He did one for the family guy, but I mean, the Simpsons are one of the most, one of the, the, it's not relevant anymore, but when it was relevant, it was something everybody was talking about when I was a kid. And I think that it deserves a good, uh, an awesome send off. A send off that everybody would be happy with. And we wouldn't be saying, Do the Simpsons need to die now? Do the Simpsons, because it's not as good as it was. We wouldn't be having this argument. We wouldn't be having this conversation online or, or on Facebook or, because I know there's conversations like that. Let's just end it in a way. That would be so great and so awesome that you are just saying, wow. So that's how the Simpsons ended. That's how they did the final season. Or there's one, or there's another one where um, Kane and uh, I can't think of the uh, crow, I think it's. The alien guys, they come and they invade and they just take everybody and enslave everybody in Springfield and everybody's gone from Springfield and they take them to their planet and you see them slaving away, um, building like death rays or something like that. And then the, after the death rays, uh, completely they get fire. <laughs> Springfield is gone. The end. Of the Simpsons season, final season, and I, I don't know. You guys fill in the blanks for me. That's just some of my thoughts. That's just some of my ideas. How I I think that the Simpsons should. There's so many ways you maybe a uh, endless loop of Halloween episodes where they're stuck into that, and it finally takes out everybody in Springfield, including the Simpsons. See, uh, just ideas of what could you what you could do to end the Simpsons in the final season. But that's some of my thoughts and some of my ideas. But as always, everybody, awesome, radical, cowabunga.